Okay, so I had to replace um, outdoor hose bib, hose faucet. Um, I don't know exactly what they're called, but anyways, this this whole piece here. Um, so this is the finished finished product uh, to start off with. Um, a new bib, and this is an anti-freeze, so it's got a um, like a 12-inch metal pipe that's all connected um, that goes under the house. Um, and then when you turn the valve, it actually shuts it off 12 inches back, so all the water from 12 inches in drains out. It's supposed to be again the anti-freeze or the you know harder to freeze because all the water in this pipe gets drained out um, because the actual shutoff valve portion is not right in here it's way back inside the house um, on top of that I added this little this little plate um, because the hole where I replaced this uh, faucet where I ran the new faucet through was was much larger and these these two screws here uh, didn't have anything to grab onto so I bought an, an additional plate so the actual faucet portion here screws to the plate and then the plate to the wall um, so very sturdy uh, before it was it was kind of wobbly I've seen that on a few different houses um, that we've lived in where it's basically just connected to a PVC pipe and there's really no screws holding it in and it's very wobbly um, my wife actually broke one that way um, at an old house but here's the here's the finished product uh, I'm gonna go under the house and uh, show you guys what I did and then I also have the pipe that I took out to, to show you what it what it was before and why I had to replace it. Okay, so we're under the house here. Um, this is where, uh, again, you can see that the metal portion of the pipe, hopefully. Um, so that's all part of the hose bib that runs 12 inches into the wall. And actually right there, um, at the end of this metal portion, you can see um, is where the the actual shutoff area so it shuts it off way back here and allows the extra water to drain out um, you can see there there's my fitting going from the PVC the C PVC to the um, to the actual hose bib the end of the hose bib so it's just a glue on fitting with threads on the other end and then um, back here so I put that whole piece of pipe is new. Um, here's where I spliced in my uh, new PVC, C PVC, I'm sorry. Um, and basically it's just a glue fitting. So um, on the threads up there, I used going from the C PVC to the, to the metal um, hose bib. I used Teflon tape. And then, of course you can see the purple, that's the, the uh, C PVC primer and glue. So that's what it looks like here under the house. Okay, so here's the uh, kind of the setup that was on the house before I changed it. Um, you had this C, C PVC pipe running out um, kind of close to the exterior of the house and then the actual faucet portion here just um, just screwed on, threaded on to the, to the pipe that was coming out. Um, so the problem I was having before was that there was some water leaking um, kind of around this area here um, and so you can you can service these as in uh, unscrew this this bottom portion which I already, you can see I already have it loose and this top and there's some little rubber washer so I'll do that in a minute and show you the inside um, but when I tried it before I had um, stripped out these threads on this top one and you can see I have it packed full of uh, Teflon tape um, so that was at the end of last year and I just kind of left it we were done using the hoses um, anyways this is the setup that was um, and my original intent was just to unscrew this uh, from here and put on a new you know screw on a new uh, faucet um, you can see all the mortar around here so it was kind of packed full of mortar the hole was and as I was chipping that out to try to get this freed up to, to unscrew it, um, I think I damaged some of the threads. So when I tried to just replace this um, faucet, the faucet body here, 
and screw on the new one I had a leak uh, from around this area so um, so yeah that's why I ended up uh, I made a few different mistakes that was one the second one was um, when I tried to so I, I bought a new fitting and again this is uh, another failed attempt I had glued all this together um, I bought a new fitting and I was just gonna again reuse this this hose body that I bought um, so you can see I have my CPVC I have a fitting here that goes from the CPVC to a to a metal thread so I glued this on um, but what I the mistake that I made is uh, under the house when I um, uh, and I had to cut this off but when I tried to reattach to the existing pipe I didn't um, I guess I didn't glue it well um, so of course I used the primer uh, and here's so there's a primer and a PVC cement um, so this was under the house I had just a, a small drip so I guess I didn't get it clean or I didn't get enough glue in the in the fitting where I was trying to connect to the existing house pipe um, so that was the second mistake that I made um, when doing that so um, two mistakes to watch out for this isn't a hard job um, I guess you just got to pay attention to what you're doing I've done it before where I just glued pipes back together everything went fine uh, but for some reason this time I had two separate problems one of them was was leaking around this area when this pipe was still attached and then the second attempt when I tried to uh, redo the pipe and put a new fitting I still had um, a little drip um, back under the house where I tried to connect the existing pipe with this new one so I'm gonna pull this uh, pull this faucet body apart I've already got one one apart and show you the insides and then uh, then I'll explain what, what I finally did um, that's already on the house okay so I've got um, the actual handle um, pulled off of the, the actual body of the faucet itself so there's a, um, a hex head down here to unscrew you know this portion from inside here and then there's another nut um, that kind of closes off the top of the top of this um, and kind of seals it with the, uh, with the handle rod going through anyways you can see um, this is this is off the old one so there's a, a washer down here and you can see on the bottom there's a screw so you can replace that washer and it bottoms out uh, I, I also opened up the, the newer one so you can actually see it bottoms out down here on this little um, this little lip and closes off the water and then again inside here you can see all the Teflon tape and the threads that I had kind of boogered up um, last time I was trying to fix this so here's a here's the new one that's a little bit easier to see um, again there's a there's a uh, rubber washer down inside here and then a rubber washer on the end this one's set up a little bit differently I don't know if it's serviceable as in there's just a kind of like a pin on the end instead of a screw um, but you can buy um, this is what I had bought before it's some leftovers but it's a bunch of the flat washers and even some new some new screws inside there so this was my original attempt um, at fixing it when it was leaking at the end of last year but um, I didn't I didn't fully fix it it still had a little bit of a drip um, but we were pretty much done using the hoses or the faucets so I cut it off and left it um, for the winter so that was the reason that I'm replacing this is because of the leak uh, was coming out of this area right here where I had boogered up the threads uh, I'm trying to replace it. okay so just to recap on the final um, solution for me anyways uh, here's the box of course you guys already seen the uh, so I guess it's called the Silcock uh, hose bib Silcock um, installed you know through the house but here, here's the little picture of it so you can see um, you know you actually have the faucet portion which is outside and then a large um, 12 inch section it's all fully connected um, so there's no connection you know in this area um, the only connection to the water line of the house is back here um, 
I should have done this initially. I looked at some of our other faucets and it looks like, um, you know, here was the existing one. This was kind of the oldest one in the house. All the new ones had been, or all the other ones had been replaced with a newer, um, a frost free. And so this was kind of the last, the last one that wasn't. So I should have done that in the first place anyways, uh, kind of a, a better setup. You don't have to worry about the, you know, the water in this area of the hose itself. Um, so real quick, some of the tools that I used, um, I used this little, uh, this little saw to cut through the PVC. Um, of course I used, uh, the glue, the, the CPVC primer and cement. Um, I also had some Teflon tape. I'm looking for that now, I don't know where it is, but I used Teflon tape on, on, on the threaded area. So this is threaded at the end. And um, what I did, so it's similar to, um, similar to this. So this has threads on the end. Um, obviously I used a PVC pipe and I glued one end and then the other end had threads. So a little bit different than this, but you know, I made the connection um, to the to the PVC and then it had, the other end had had internal threads where I was able to screw into the, uh, the back end of this. Um, I used a little bit of sandpaper for roughing up, um, you know, some of the areas where I was gluing. I don't know if you're, if that's required, necessary. But I also use the sandpaper, so when I make cuts, um, you're supposed to have a nice square, square cut here. You can see this one's not that good of a cut, and it's got a bunch of burrs. So I also use the sandpaper to kind of clean those up. You know, make a nice square cut. Um, so again, on the end of here, I attached a. It was a CPVC fitting, but attached a CPVC fitting that was a, that was threaded, and then glued the other end. Um, this is a better better view of it. Glued the other end to the um, to the CPVC pipe. So um, again, kind of more like this this type setup, except for this fitting would have been CPVC on the one I used. But glue this end. This end's threaded to screw into the the end of the silcock here. Um, this is a better. This also ended up being better because there's no connection. Um, so again, this, this portion of the pipe is inside the wall. Um, so there's no connection between the outside and where I can see on the inside of the wall. Um, so I was able to make sure that this, this connection wasn't leaking. I could see it. Um, and this setup, you know, when you, when, when this, when the CPVC just kind of runs to the edge of the wall and then you got to screw this, um, hose body or the, um, faucet body on you can't see here because the walls in the way and so in order for me to know if it was dripping or not I just kind of had to wait and see if it was getting wet down the side of the house uh, and that was this was the newer setup you know that I tried where I uh, ended up having a leak uh, actually had a leak further back here um, in the connection but you know it's very difficult to see if this this was a good connection without just waiting and, and, and looking on the side of the house to see if it was getting wet. Um, the, other, the other tool that I had used was this. Um, so obviously in this setup, uh, it's just the CPVC running through the wall. So when you're screwing this on from the outside, you know, once you get to a certain point, it's kind of tight. Um, you can see how that's wanting to spin. Um, so what I had to go do, I had my wife help me, but I had to go under the house and grab this and let her hand tighten this. Uh, and it, it's the same same idea when you're when you're taking the old one off. Um, you know the CPVC doesn't have a lot of uh, resistance to it, so it'll easily want to spin, and you could snap the hose or the the line underneath the house. So I went under and and got as close to the wall as I could and held this. She unscrewed this one, and we tried to screw this one back on. That could have been another problem. Um, in this case, when I used this one, I went ahead and um, screwed the fitting on. Um, 
and, and this has some little ears on it so I was able to hold the pipe, screw on the fitting, and then I just glued everything together. Um, so here's a couple of the connections that I used again. One of them was similar to this except for it was all um, CPVC. The other fitting where I tied in, and I have a, an example of that here, um, where I tied in the line from the, the new line to the existing line. But basically it's just a small little coupling like this. Um, the pipes themselves have, you know, if you don't know what size to get, um, you know, it tells you exactly what it is. This is probably upside down for you guys, but CPVC and a half inch. So if you mark down what you get, go to the hardware store, or mark down what you have, go to the hardware store, and then just write down all the connections you're going to need to make. Should be pretty easy to uh, to figure that out. What what connections you'll need to get, um, whether you have threaded connections, glued connections. Um, you know, if you write it down, you should be able to go and, and pick out everything you need. Um, I think that's about it. so price wise. Um, again, I bought this fitting, which I didn't end up using. Again, this is pulled off the house. I bought this hose uh, hose faucet body, which I didn't end up using. Um, the things that I did end up using were this this silcock, this hose bib, uh, whatever you call it, some glue, um, a little bit of sandpaper. So, and and of course the fittings that I needed. So I think total this this silcock was uh, around thirty bucks. Um, this pack of glue and primer was eight or nine dollars. Um, so that gets us up close to forty, um, and then a handful of fittings. So they were, these were, you know, 30 or 40 cents a piece. Um, the other fitting that I used was a little bit more expensive. I can't remember, but it was only a few dollars worth of fittings anyway. So, you know, you're probably looking at $45 is what I should have actually spent, not including the items that I bought and ended up not using. This was probably another $15. Um, but as far as the items that you need, like I say 45, 50 bucks, somewhere in there. Um, and if you don't have, you know, I already had the saw, I already had some Teflon tape and a few of the other things that I used a pair of pliers. Um, so I didn't need to buy those, but, uh, you know, if you don't have those, those will increase the price. Um, again, I'm no, I'm no, uh, expert at doing this. I just like to try to do it and, uh, save a little money. Um, uh, again, this one, maybe I didn't save any money, but I learned a few, a few lessons. So. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.